second match between Kala and Scan on Turbine. Some more map testing. Six o'clock location, we have Kala as kind of that eh, cream, creamish color. Protoss, upper right hand corner, we have Scan as the red Terran on Turbine once again. Go ahead and do a quick map reveal just so you guys can see it. Uh, and it's not really a, it's mostly, again, for map testing, it's, I don't think there's any money on the line. <clears throat> it's just kind of a friendly, let's check out this map and see the balance on it. But we know from game one, level two weapons, level one armor, at least as far as scan executes it against Kala, is very effective. I'm wondering if the stasis also was a little bit off-timed and kind of the Arbiter's out, just because, again, you have such a huge... I feel like 14 Command Center is ex what you're going to see pretty much every game here, and probably 12 Nexus as well, right? Because of this internal protected base. I don't even know that if you try to go for kind of a counter push against it, just heads up knowing it's coming, if if that's just straight up effective. We'll see. We'll see if anyone attempts that. But as far as standard play goes, because you get such a quick boost as Terran, where you get that free natural expansion that you don't even really need to put in, I don't know, it feels like it because it's so protected back there, as long as you have something to deal with potential reaver drops, potential anything in the air, really, the follow-up ends up being really, really strong. It just kind of accelerates your economy. Granted, you get that on the opposite side from Protoss as well, but I feel like, it, yeah, it's, there's kind of that, that gap for Protoss, it feels like, where they need to do something either risky, either taking additional expansions or going for harassment, which is usually the case, but feels like especially so. Anyway, should also point out that Scan is Artosis's teacher and actually has really accelerated, well, is, I'm not sure accelerated is the right word. He's shown significant MMR growth recently. I actually put it a little bit too high. I think I said, oh, he's sitting between 2200 and 2400 these days, which is a little bit too high, but he has been, he has been in the S rank. He's been dipping in between like mid A and high tier S. Uh, here and there. So there's the 14 command center as expected from scan. There is the 12 nexus comparatively from Kala. Uh, he's getting a gateway as well. And I'm also wondering if there's going to be avoidance of kind of the early sort of cheese action just because this is for, for map testing. This is for map testing. Barracks being built alongside. Looks like Kala is going to scout to the upper left hand corner first. And this is kind of the other critical thing is just on the three player map the way it's designed it almost feels like Protoss has to get very, very lucky to get any sort of scout inside their Terran opponent's base. And actually, SCV going ahead and blockading that. And this is like an easy to block thing as well. So Probe making his way across. This front door sealed, not going to be able to get across. And basically, so it's scouting information that the Terran gets where the Protoss opponent doesn't have that same courtesy, I suppose. Gateway up, Assimilator up, 12 Nexus up. Probes transferring and Scan sees it all. I'm almost wondering if we. I, I kind of want to see something interesting from Scan comparatively. But at the same time, I don't feel like he needs to do anything interesting. Being that straight factory build or even slow play to a third base has shown to be very, very effective. And I feel like seal, uh, Siege Tanks here. I'd like to hear your guys' comments on it. I feel like Siege Tanks in this region provide a lot more defense than then Dragoons or Zealots being able to encroach into that area are able to basically Terran's ability to plant mines, have siege tanks along these corners, the range, this wall that is kind of a nice defensive barrier despite being kind of slightly exposed it's easier to defend for Terran than it is for Protoss to attack into it and also easier for Terran to on the other side attack into this mineral expansion with siege tanks kind of over the wall. Anyway siege tanks are very strong, is I guess what I'm trying to say, and it feels like this map also plays a lot in his favor. First sell it on the front, trying to force his way in, maybe find a corner where he might be able to sneak in, but there is a Marine there. Second assimilator being plopped down, or second refinery being plopped down. Force scan, he's got that factory building inside his base, and looks like he's just gonna kinda slow play it, go that for that single machine shop, and plopping a second factory alongside, probably get that siege tech, go from there. One interesting thing that does happen is, is you kinda end up where a little bit of, of different timing as far as like when you take, do you take that third? When do you take that third? Sort of things like that. Robotics facility being plopped down. We do have a cybernetic score warping in. SCV was able to sneak out of that base and still stay alive. Dragoon probably going to plug this gap before anything else is happening. But you can kind of see just here in the mid game, Kala, you know, five supply ahead, but just about even in SCVs otherwise, has a single zealot trying to blockade to make sure that keeps scan on us so we can't just walk out and take that additional expansion. 
But yeah, it just feels like because of the shelled and defensive nature of all this, that actually I take back. SCV managing to sneak right back in. Might sacrifice his life for it. We'll see if Kala can stay on top of his macro. Does see that Cybernetic score spinning, which is a nice bit of information. Second Dragoon making his way across. And actually, the way they're positioning, uh, they're going to get him. Running into the probes along the assimilator a little bit, but they are able to get that initial kill. First shell being produced. And we see a robotic support bay and an observatory being produced otherwise. And Dragoon's making their way across. So this might actually be double Dragoon drop in the back corner, just to be annoying. This is a lot of territory to cover. I don't know, that's kind of the, the shuttle... Okay, never mind. So first shuttle being produced. Reaver being produced. I wonder if that... Lost track of that shuttle. Uh, was that a cancellation or have I just not seen it? I'm wondering if... There it is. Hanging out here in that bottom right corner. I'm wondering if it's actually going to move forward to provide... No? Okay. So opting... I'm kind of confused by that maneuver. So getting that shuttle a little bit before that Reaver is in play. And then plopping down, going to go ahead and take his Nexus as well. So gonna go ahead and grab that mineral only. Three siege tanks, or three siege tanks. Three dragoons here. Pylon on that corner. In the meantime, scan. Going for that Goliath Charm Booster upgrade with the two Goliaths to provide kind of that mobile attack unit. He's also got some missile turrets prepared for any sort of reaver attack, and his weapons won about halfway finished. So we are seeing basically the same build here in game two. We do have a reaver and a zealot in this shuttle slowly making its way across the map and an engineering bay to provide some scouting across the southern corner. This is three siege tanks and two Goliaths that have to deal with a lot of territory. That is the one downside for Terran, is this is just a lot of base to try to protect. And unfortunately for Kala, he's walking right into a turret. It looks like he, I think he did scout it, and he thinks he sees that he's spotted by that engineering bay. So might opt to, in fact, play a little bit more defensively with this. It doesn't look like Scan is, he's gonna go ahead and open up that creep colony. I think this is more for Scan to go ahead and take this low ground third pretty rapidly. He's popping down three additional, four additional factories. So yeah, nice defensive structure, or defensive defense force. Another turret to greet the shuttle from the north. Now making its way across, taking a couple hits. The Goliath's going to go back to provide some defense. Another Scan. Going to be able to push back that probe and kill that observer on that third base. Putting Kala in the dark. And Kala going to go ahead and back off, feeling like with the Goliaths, with those turrets there, not worth it. Probably end up losing it. Does have this third up in mining. He is sitting, just now getting his third gate. Push straight to carriers. Wow. So he is hoping, he's definitely hoping, that between all this, Scan... And here's the thing, he just doesn't have a lot of information on what Scan's up to. He is hoping that Scan's going to go for that slow third to go ahead and, and take minerals. However, if Scan pushes into this, I don't know that he's going to have enough grand. He's, he's basically, he needs some time to get his carrier fleet up and deal with this. Tr there we do see a pylon wall. Drop that shuttle. Reaver and that Reaver getting a little bit of damage on these siege tanks. Some Dragoons engaging this. Wanting to peel as many siege tanks as possible. Gets two siege tanks, three siege tanks. Actually clearing out this attack force quite nicely. Doing a lot of damage there, and that is, yeah, that's going to force Scan to go ahead and play it more defensively. Because his attack force is now more Goliaths, but just three siege tanks, and it looks like, yeah, he is going to opt to go ahead and take that. Well, he's positioning as though he's going to take this mineral only, but as I say that, SCVs are coming off the line, I take it back. This is level one weapons timing. Another observer getting wiped out, and now, yeah, Call is in some trouble here. He is in a lot of trouble. Because at this stage, yeah, and I think Scan, with his scans, saw it. He's like, your gateway count's too low. I know you're rebuilding carriers. You don't have enough to fight back. He's Kala, already recognizing this, pulled all of the probes. Is just abandoning his mineral only. Some Dragoons trying to cycle around this corner. This is only going to be four, finally a fifth gateway to try to provide some defense. He needs to just try to survive. Just needs to try to survive. Kala now in the red is probably going to be even deeper in the red because he's going to lose all of the Psy provided from this Nexus. Just, yeah, completely abandoning this. Dragoon's trying to sneak in. Ah, oh, They are going to be able to take this barracks down, but I think they were hoping to get some units. And with a Vulture that should easily be able to sneak in here, they're, yeah, able to reach that gateway. I think that's going to be GG again. Kala getting caught while he's attempting to tech switch. And again, this is kind of, yeah, where Terran can just sit back and use scans to get eyes inside of 
the Protoss opponent's base. Protoss doesn't have that option. It looks like he was trying to sneak an Exus here to take a fourth. But you can see with that lack of information really playing in Scan's favor. And on top of that, he's just done such a great job of keeping those Observers just completely obliterated. Counterattack of some Dragoons on the front door. He wants to try to dive into the main. There are Vultures there to meet this. And they're getting pushed back. There are additional Siege Tanks. And some Carriers... Wow, the carry is immediately going to Scan's base. So he's hoping for perhaps rapid base trade. Perhaps he can get, if he can get these factories down. He does have a refugee base here, and he is getting a forge and a gateway there. So yeah, if he can take the siege tanks, get the dragoons up there, take these factories down very, very rapidly, maybe he can get something accomplished here. But Scan saying, okay, base trade situation, guess what? I have level one weapons upgrade. I'm just going to dive in with these siege tanks that do all sorts of damage and take everything out. I like that he's... Also, this robotics facility is a bit exposed. But whether this observer gets out could be key. Observer does not spawn. So there's not going to be any anti-mines in the meantime. The SCV is pulling off and yeah, taking out the Dragoons. GG. Kind of a a feeble counterattack attempt. It was kind of like, well, I can try this to try to counter into this. Game 2 goes to scan as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to Game 3.